Okay, sorry. For some reason my settings were a little fucked up. And welcome back guys. I haven't played this in a couple in a little bit because I've been enjoying other games and kind of got burnt out on playing this, so I'm sorry guys. I know you guys hate me. Uh but anyways. Um God, I can't remember what I was doing. I don't know what my 25. Oh, okay. Merc mercenary. Don't try it! <laughs> Rusty, but should get better and time goes on. His bow would do numbers for me. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I am not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What <coughs> kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. 
I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic. This one tells the tale of a man with short wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bear. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there is an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, Anyone who opposed her got... Um, got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads... Of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles. At the entrance of the sanctuary, I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave.
What do you see? Nothing yet. What captain? Keep at it. I want them found. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll find her. Looks like you died quickly. Let's fight! You! That old priest, hiding by the tree. Sure, if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, ah. I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules to Moxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. God. <laughs> 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 Ah! <laughs> 
If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. Give me a second, guys. One my anime figure just fell it down. I just realized my phone fell on my keyboard. A couple pictures. Six speed, Zach. Fun shit. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, Von. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead! Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. It's so dark in here.
And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy malikes. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this. I curse you. Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I like your snakes. Least I got a name. Move Excuse me. Sickness that may Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but Drachmi for blood, I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need the beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here. Towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, 
Why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Am I too late? Ella. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. You are... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second, guys. My family just came home and I need help bringing groceries. So I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry guys. This one over there. Like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Oh, not the best feeling. Okay, I don't like that. I thought it'd be a little bit faster. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole ball, they can come get it themselves. First that. Get back over here, dumb.
daughter. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. Oh, I hate these empty decisions. Well, the farmer just said he has more bowls. So I heal him. He, maybe he'll give a, us more to heal the other two. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being... tended to... Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. See, I'm okay with that. Spear for spear, eye for an eye. Sorry, I did not feel that one coming. It just came out. Oh, I was able to mute my mic that time. Spotted. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? 
The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead. How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home, her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Midon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar, where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope. Priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Yeah. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. She only looks insane. Chrysis is the key to finding. I just got me a step. What's that? I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. Oh yeah, guys, um, I won't be doing, I just got myself, uh, I guess, force out so soon, I'm gonna be, um, I won't take the room, got me in, but. So soon I'm gonna be going live on Twitch with, um, Kingdom Hearts 4, I mean 3, sorry, Kingdom Hearts 3. And then once I go get that up and running, videos will be on uh, YouTube afterwards if you guys don't want to follow me on Twitch. But then again, this video is probably be out before this video.
Since I heard core. There is the altar of Apollo Maleatas. By the time I'm posting this video, the I'm literally posting. Oh, oh, recording this video. The time I'm recording this video, we'll find I'm literally posting the last video of uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. A warning. Must be getting close. This will die here. seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family, snake. I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But he was. Oh, how she wept when his little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of him, placed him on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare his life, and they listened. What did you do with my brother? I saved his life by teaching him to suffer, to know pain so well that he would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now he will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured him? He was just a baby! I taught him to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave him strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave Zemo strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you, too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your brother. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. 
Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. God bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis's reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my brother died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malaka. She would have chased her down to saving that kid, but the kid can't defend himself. That mom was like, oh, yeah, you saved him because of the gods. Oh. I wasn't there. Baby weapon. Hercule. Ba Hercule baby. Since first. We have the best prizes around.
I'll see you soon. You're gonna get your ass handed to you. Hey guys, I want in this point here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up button. Really just help. And I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Love you guys and peace. Bye.